The marine organism we're going to identify now is the red-spotted hawkfish. One of the most elusive fish on the coral reef is the red-spotted hawkfish. This small, shy fish is generally found resting on a coral head, perched on its pectoral fins. But as soon as it knows it's been spotted, it quickly darts into a hole in the reef and reemerges only after a long time period has passed. Red-spotted hawkfish are generally only two to three and a half inches long. So add to their shyness the fact that they are relatively small fish, it takes a good eye to notice the red-spotted hawkfish. Red-spotted hawkfish have a very distinctive color pattern. They have greenish-brown bars over a cream-colored body. All their fins, except the dorsal fin, are clear. But what really makes them distinctive are the red spots that cover the face, upper body, and dorsal fin of this fish. They also reportedly have tassels on the tips of each of the dorsal fin spines, but I have yet to get a close enough look at one to see that distinctive feature on these fish. They can be found on coral reefs and rocky areas as shallow as 12 feet and as deep as about 80 feet. Their range is throughout the tropical waters of Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean, although the frequency of their occurrence varies by specific region. Red spot feed primarily on small crustaceans such as copepods, small shrimp, shrimp larvae, crabs, and crab larvae. They will also feed on various types of marine worms. They feed by rapidly darting out from their perch on a coral head or rock to grab a morsel of food passing by in the water column. In other words, they are fairly opportunistic feeders as they wait for food to pass by them instead of actively hunting for it on the reef. Red-spotted hawkfish are protogynous hermaphrodites, meaning they are all female until the dominant male in an area dies, at which time the dominant female will change sex and become a male. They are pelagic spawners, and mating occurs at night near the water surface. Their eggs are buoyant and float on the water surface until they hatch in just a few weeks. Given that it takes a few weeks for the eggs to hatch, currents can carry them long distances, which probably explains their broad distribution. That's the red-spotted hawkfish.